welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions and today we are doing another vlog but this is one that is just in general not a specific one because i felt like recording but i didn't feel like recording like a specific recommendations video so i'm gonna do my best to actually make this vlog two things <laughs> shorter and more relaxing if that makes sense because i love reading vlogs that are like so soothing that you feel like you're just sitting down with a friend and talking about books so we'll see if i succeed in this but this will be a weekend vlog so it's saturday today and tomorrow it's sunday the first of august so we're going to be doing a weekend vlog which i've never done before and it's not like a readathon thing where we can see how much i can read it's just a thing where we hang out over the weekend now what i am actually reading is we're going to be reading Kenobi and I will hope to finish this because I want to get to some other books. I've been in a mood where I, I'm always in the mood for Star Wars, but right now I'm in a mood where I don't want to consume too much of it because when I consume too much Star Wars, that's pretty much all that I consume if you get me. And the second thing is Watchmen. I reread V for Vendetta while I was on holiday and I just picked up Watchmen last night because I am starting this thing where I read before before bed I don't really fall asleep afterwards but I'm trying to at least read a little before bed and I already read like that much it's not a lot but this is this is a chunker, so it is actually a lot for one evening. And I'm going to take it slow this time, like take it in a little bit more, because everything is better, if it's your favorite, everything is better when you read it for the second time, because you figure out many details and things that you didn't notice before. Like, for example, in the beginning, I didn't know it was Rorschach, and like the little beginning bit, just walking by a guy. And I love that, actually. It's very very subtle and cool to see things like that for the second time. So that is the plan for today and tomorrow. I might veer a little bit and like finish Anne's House of Dreams or listen to an audiobook, but so far this is the plan and we're just going to take it slow. I'm going to maybe take you on a walk <laughs> when I go out later. But all in all, this is it. Let's just have a chill weekend together and I'll do my best not to make it long. That's apparently a problem of mine. see I just wrapped up doing this it's like a combination of relaxing and my hand is gonna fall off because you can't really do it with markers because it'll bleed to the other side and it's like double-sided I don't want it to bleed to the other side so I have to use colored pencils and colored pencils always make my wrist hurt literally like it'll fall off i don't know how artists do it but there's a reason why they don't do it with pencils but yeah it was actually kind of relaxing i understand you saw it very quickly it wasn't in reality that quick 
but let me know if i'm just trying out a couple things in this vlog let me know if you like the little short clips of what i actually do that doesn't have to do with reading because i mostly find those really calming myself when i watch it so i let me know <laughs> if you liked it but if you didn't it wasn't that long so i think it's actually kind of fine Just a random thing that I wanted to show you. Hang on. No. Not right now. Anyway. With this. I realized that I actually kind of like this feature. Let me just... Dang it. Let me <laughs> try and find it. I am not sure where it is right now. There. That one. Because you can see literally everything <laughs> that you wrote down i don't really do notes but i highlight so many quotes that like i will have a billion quotes from anne of green gables at this point because i do them all <laughs> like i highlight them all and i can add notes to them so that's the one thing that i think is kind of cool about kindle books aside from that i don't think i'd ever <laughs> i'd ever really really read kindle but now that i've experienced it i just wanted to highlight the fact that there are definitely some pro pros i almost said prawns pros and cons to everything but this is the one pro that i wish was actually cool about real books like just marking a sentence and then actually being able to find it without having a thousand sticky notes <laughs> so yeah just a little random random mention but look at this it's literally like hundreds <laughs> and this is all like from I'm not sure which book, but... Hello, it is Sunday. This is the first time I think that I'm updating today. I am ridiculously tired. It is a disgusting day. I feel like there's several tons of pressure on my head. I feel terrible. But this is not not fun to talk about anyway so who would care about that but i did read actually quite a bit of watchmen today i think i got to like hang on here <laughs> so i'm like over over halfway it's really thick it's really really thick i feel like it's a little bit longer than vendetta but 
yeah i'm talking really slow i just i'm enjoying it so much i'm trying to read it slower and actually read the pirate subplot and actually see everything because i rushed it last time because i didn't <laughs> anytime i read something for the first time if i really like it i'm probably gonna read it a second time because i don't think i took in all the information well on the first read and aside from that i'm just watching some youtube right now did not touch kenobi this weekend it feels a little bit hefty but i think i'm gonna actually cut it off here it's not that long i mean it's a weekend vlog but it's like almost 11 p.m now and <laughs> i don't think there's any point in telling you that i'm gonna read more like i am i'm gonna read more of that probably i might pick up kenobi but i kind of doubt it so for now for now i think this is pretty much gonna be it and wow the spread is so liquidy right now <laughs> yeah a random random thing i'm making like toast with chocolate spread it's like hazelnut and white chocolate i think but it has no sugar i don't i don't eat sugar and it's actually fairly good actually almost a little too, too sweet which is fascinating to me for products that have no sugar that they're actually so sweet <laughs> but we're gonna keep reading watchmen and just like the first time that i read it i i love rorschach way too much like ozzy and night owl and everyone i love them all but rorschach <laughs> I don't know he just has a special place in my heart and the ending if you've read it you know but yeah i think that after this i might actually watch the movie again like it's a really really long movie but as i mentioned in several of my videos <laughs> near the end of 2020 watchmen is the best adaptation ever because they copied everything like shot for shot word for word and the castings were perfect so i think i might actually rewatch it it's like a three hour movie though <laughs> But it's worth it because they got everything, everything right. I, yeah, I think I'm craving the movie actually after this because I've never experienced an adaptation so accurate. Yeah, that's the plan for now. Not not today though. I don't think I'm going to watch a three hour movie today because I feel like absolute shit. But yeah, we're going to read some more Watchmen and then I will update you if I'm doing another weekly vlog or another weekend vlog in any case. Let me know if you enjoyed this like shorter format where i don't really do that much it's just a couple shots of what i did during the day and updates on reading or if you pr prefer like weekly vlogs because i know that when i watch them for me it's the longer the better because i love weekly vlogs that are like 40 to 50 minutes but that's just me so let me know what you like and i'll try and not do all videos <laughs> that cater just to me and that's i think a small sacrifice that i am willing to make Anyway, I will see you in the next video.